you're gonna get shot at, IED'd, RPG'd, pick up guys with no heads, no legs, there's nothing standard about it. Someone's hurt, uh, he's a man, and it's between him and his God, but it's our job to go in and save a life. As soon as we leave base, we're technically in enemy territory. We're a helicopter, and they want to shoot us down, and we're a helicopter that can't shoot back. The medics are brave as hell. They're going out in a place that there's no IEDs because one just exploded on a guy. Somebody's about to die, lose a limb, eyesight. We had to be off the deck in 15 minutes. We had to have that wounded devil dog to the next higher level of care within one hour. Charles Kelly was the first dust offer killed in action. Uh, there was enemy fire in the area. He landed his aircraft and immediately they began to take volleys of fire. The ground forces on the ground told him, dust off, get out of here, leave. And he said, I'll leave when I have your wounded. Okay, the next words he spoke were, my God, as the bullet passed through his chest and he died. They're up to their elbows in disaster. They hold it together long enough to keep that man alive, and and it's it's incredible what these guys are capable of, and, and they and they've been doing it since day one. There's faith and trust that if they do get hurt, somebody's going to get them. They're going to get them quick. They're going to get them to a competent surgeon who's probably going to save their life. And that's the legacy we carry today. 